嗨，大家好，我又来分享英语学习干货了。有很多粉丝和我聊自学英语当中遇到的细节问题，每个问题都很实际。比如说，单词背了老是记不住怎么办？到底要背多少单词才能和外国人闲聊？语法记不住怎么办？能看懂英文，但是自己说的时候就不会了，说错。其实这就关联到英语思维的问题，我觉得这是很多自学但是又没有语境的同学普遍会遇到的。我们很容易把学英语和实际运用英语这件事情分隔开，包括我自己。那怎么样去培养英语思维呢？今天我就用我自学了一年半的蹩脚的口语，从这些问题入手，和 Cambly 上的外教们聊一聊，看看他们有什么妙招吧。First question is. How to remember words? I don't like to recite. I recite every day, but I can't remember very well. So I want to know if there are some better ways. Well, the only thing for me when I'm learning, you know, for instance, I've been trying to learn Vietnamese, and I just have to try and make the word a, a picture in my head.、Mm -hmm. um, Yeah, make it a picture or make some sort of little story about that word、um, to make me remember it. I tell my students to watch documentaries on subjects that they like because we want English to be fun, Lion. Also, I tell my students when they're watching the documentary, if you hear a new word, three words a day minimum, maximum five, no more. The best way to also remember words is by using them in sentences. Using them in sentences. The new vocabulary words you learn, write them down, but then use them. You create your own sentence. That way, it shows that you know how to use that word properly, correctly. Think of a child. We don't make them recite the words on a piece of paper.、Yeah. That doesn't work. So we introduce with different things, with with music, with television, with activities, and speaking as much as possible. If we learn a whole lot of words and we don't know how to use them, we're going to forget those words very quickly. Sometimes it's better to focus in on a topic. Or on a subject, and instead of learning individual words, sometimes it's better to learn phrases. Maybe you can make that process for you more interesting. Pick a topic you're really interested in.、Uh, for example, let's say traveling uh, as the topic. Uh, so you uh, check out words that are related to traveling. Can be nouns, can be verbs, can be adjectives. At least they are related to the topic traveling. So on Monday, you remember airport, luggage, and takeoff. Yeah, for example. So on Tuesday,、uh, you add three more. So you remember Monday and you add three more. So we're making like a chain. On Wednesday, the same. You add every day three words that are related to the topic. So on Sunday, you try to write down as many words as you remember.、Uh, so then, for the upcoming week, you can change the topic. Another hands-on activity is you can use post-its and you put post-its all over your house if you forget the words. So if it's in your house, I remember I put like everywhere a post-it on the fridge. Fridge. <laughs> Or inside my bed, well, <laughs> so I just had posted everywhere. So when I when I walked around, like ah yeah, okay, jacket, okay, tick. So、uh, you can you can put posted. How many words do you think、uh, students need to remember to communicate with native speaker? I had this question before. So in English. As far as I know, there are more than five hundred thousand words. But when we speak in a normal daily, not just daily conversation, like an an average person only uses total of three thousand words. That should be enough to go to the bank, do daily things, have fun chats. Talk to colleagues at work. So, if you had three thousand, that would be like an intermediate level of English. It really depends、uh, on your personal level and what's your what on goal is. Like, you want to talk like a native, or you just want to get along. For a really good talk, I'd say around five hundred words. Another question: I want to know how many words students need to remember to communicate with others. Because I always、yeah. think I need to remember ten thousands or twenty thousands words, so I can influence. But it's not; it's not work. I would guess that it's just a few hundred. I, just a few hundred. 
just a few hundred. When you're beginning, we're in the basics of communication. You don't need that many words. If somebody could record me for a full day on Cambly, and then they put all of the words into a computer. I talk on Cambly for three hours, so I talk a lot. So I wonder how many different words I use. I think we'd have a shock. I don't think it's that many. Wow, no, so I, I have um, a wrong mindset. <laughs> <laughs> And how do you know how to remember grandma? I mean, I can read in books and I can watch TV. I, I can understand it, but when I speak in English, I always make a lot of mistakes. I, I, not, can't... I, I think you make mistakes when you're nervous. You're not making yeah. mistakes now. A, a lot of times, it's like when people do IELTS, they're so scared. They forget everything. If you can go into your IELTS test, try not to overcomplicate it. Just try and be natural. And that's all they're really looking for. They want to see that you're a natural speaking person. Grammar can be tenses. Grammar can be adverbs for tenses, for example. You can remember only keywords. So, for example, you, you always high likely forget the simple past. You don't know how to use it. So there are certain keywords, and I can guarantee you, you remember the keywords, you know. So a goal, yesterday, last night. Okay, this action is already over, so I have to use simple past. Done. Or simple present. Usually, often, sometimes, things that happen on a regular basis. Simple present. Easy. So you can just remember the keywords. And then you know what tense you have to pick when you want to express something or you want to tell something. When I say something, I always make a lot of mistakes. That's normal though. I think, you know, unfortunately you have this adult brain now. So when you hear something, your, your brain's asking why. So you try to translate it, then think about the correct grammar then yes. speak and then it's already taken a long time and you start to make mistakes if i were you i would forget about the grammar make mistakes it doesn't matter when you make a mistake the tutor can correct you you can learn and think oh okay i should have said that try not to thinking about the grammar because it will slow the process down the best way to learn english is by don't even worry about grammar when i was a child how did I learn English? By watching television, mimicking, copying, the same sentence structures. That's how we learn English. Try not to focus too much on grammar. Just enjoy the conversation, continue to watch good programs, and copy the sentence structures. 下面我就来介绍一下Cambly 还可以挑选课程、生活、工作、考试等等话题可以自由选择。除了口语练习平台，还有回放功能，可以复盘自己，也有笔记功能。外教给你打字纠正的错误，可以回顾。感兴趣的朋友可以用我的推荐码G两八
那么我自己呢，是实践着外教说的一些技巧，比如说给自己制造语境。我现在已经把我看的书全部换成了英文书，我的手机和电脑也都是英文版，并且我也非常喜欢看美剧、听英文歌、英文播客。我觉得从自己的兴趣入手呢，确实更容易坚持，把自己沉浸在英语的环境里，确实进步更大。虽然说我现在的英语水平不算特别好，但是比起以前的我，已经进步了很多。分享这期视频呢，也不是要作为一个高手教别人什么，而是我知道一个没有语境又想自学的人是多么辛苦，多么迷茫。希望这次的内容呢，能够给你们一点点共鸣和启发。那么本期的内容就分享到这里了，感谢你们的观看。如果觉得有用的话，记得点赞、分享和关注哦。那我们下期再见。